I started Math Without Borders when I was teaching at a charter school working with homeschool families. I recognized that to learn math, students need a real teacher, not just a textbook. A good teacher can lead a student through the process of reasoning that makes math make sense. A good teacher can be a role model for the thinking that goes into problem solving. And a good teacher, much better than a textbook, can make connections between different parts of math and science and real life to make math more interesting and meaningful. I'm now retired from 35 years of teaching physics, math, and astronomy at the high school and junior college levels, both in the U.S. and overseas. But since I started this project, I have taught far more students through these video courses than I taught in my regular teaching career. Since I could choose any textbooks I wanted as the basis of these courses, I chose what I consider to be the very best textbooks out there, bar none. For the algebra sequence from Algebra 1 through Calculus, I've chosen the excellent widely praised series by Paul A. Forrester, who started as a chemical engineer before going into teaching. He brings the best collection of real-world application problems I have ever seen and really teaches you how to think through the problem-solving process. This is very much in line with my teaching emphasis. That's why we learn math. Paul Forrester doesn't have a geometry text, so I chose the best and most creative text I have ever used, Geometry, a Guided Inquiry, by three authors from the University of California, Davis. Math teaching took a wrong turn with the new math in the 1960s. This text was written to offer an alternative. It's not part of the Back to Basics movement. It takes a new step forward in a different direction. Along with the logic expected in a geometry course, it helps build a solid intuition about spatial relationships. Thinking geometrically is part of the problem-solving process for setting up problems that might ultimately be solved precisely using algebra or trigonometry. I'm pleased with all of the courses I'm offering, but of them all, this is my favorite. When you pick a math curriculum, there are some real differences to consider. Some take a dry, how-to approach without conveying much in the way of understanding. In my teaching and in the textbooks I have chosen to work with, the focus is on teaching for understanding. I don't teach to the test. If you really understand something, tests will take care of themselves. I would describe some math courses as a narrow, dusty path through a broad green meadow. I want to help you explore the meadow. My advertising so far has been almost entirely word of mouth. Check out the reviews by parents of homeschoolers who've used my courses on my website. Pick a curriculum that will take you as far as possible during your high school years. While you're at it, pick one that will communicate the full experience with joy and understanding.